Murdoch, do you read me? Over. Murdoch, can you hear me? Over. Yeah, I hear you just fine, face. Chopper's out back. Murdoch, you're sweetheart. Hi, Murdoch. Oh, man, I was practically through the meteor shower. Time to go bye-bye. The magic word is tuberculosis. <coughs> <coughs> Good Lord! <coughs> Mr. Murdoch, I don't remember him being like this. Eh, it must have been incubating all this time. Good oh. thing his test showed us the infestation this early. What I wrote, please. Couple of fours. Oh, another winner. Hard eight. Hey, the shooter. Who's an eight? Look. Nobody know how much this man weighs. God, man, he's heavy. I ain't knocking him out no more. This is the last time I'm carrying him. Uh, you think it's easy on this end? I got 200 pounds of gold pulling me down. Uh, maybe it would help if we took the jewelry off. No, Ken, I think he's got it hooked up to a burglar alarm. He won't even stay under my bed anymore, face. it put his bowl under there and everything. I think the psychiatric ward's making Billy nervous. You know, he won't eat regularly. He barks <laughs> in the middle of the night. If he changed his flea collar, the dog gets fleas, it twists him, Murdoch makes him crazy. Look, face. This man don't have a dog. So why are we sitting around here talking about a dog that don't exist? Yeah, it isn't that Billy doesn't exist. In a practical sense, Billy does exist. He represents a uh, love fixation that bridges a relationship gap Murdoch had when he was a child. Absolutely. Go on. Run along. Make sure you stay out of the house. Hope he doesn't mess on the front porch there. Face, stay with me. Uh, Hannibal, if we're going to fight, I'd really prefer to be teamed with B.A. Me too. Are you guys saying you don't want to team up with me? Yes. yes. Murdoch, can you see? I can't even see your teeth. Where do you put the saddle? Long way from an army base, aren't you? These here are friends of Ray Brenner's. Why'd you run our van off the road? You know what they're talking about, Harold? How about you, Curly? You keep getting bigger. Hey, Wendy, let's go. I tell you, Fleece, my ball can talk. It can. Come on, guys, hit the ball. Come on, we're waiting up here. Say something nasty, face man. Come on, Lots of them can talk, Murdoch. But can it sing? I haven't taught him any songs yet. Has to be another way out. How about right here through this window? Hey, uh, face, it's lucky you showed up with a flashlight. There's some kind of blackout throughout the building. Yeah, that's because B.A.'s jumping the master circuit, so the uh, alarm wouldn't go off when I opened the window. Murdoch, what are you wearing? I guess my secret's out. You discovered my alter ego. You're not Professor Nutty Buddy again, are you? Rex the Wonder Dog? No, 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 no. It's just that when you phoned earlier and said we were going up against some horse rustlers, well, who better to defeat them than the mysterious lawman of the plains, the range rider? You, uh, you got me there. Thunder, Thunder Girl. Oh, no, Thunder's not who I think she is. Ho, 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 girl, ho. I don't know, Murdoch. You know how B.A. feels about having Billy in his van, and uh, he's just a dog. The range rider would sooner face a dozen bandits without his six shooters than not have thunder at his side. There is no man tall enough to come between me and my trusty steed. Last one through the doors, Corky Duke. Now, who are you? Corky Duke. Come on, it's for your own good. I want you to uh, remain in quarantine until I can check back with you in a couple of days. Hopefully by then I'll have developed the serum you'll need. And uh, you're to speak of this to no one except Nurse Billings. Hmm? Uh, contact me immediately should he develop any strange symptoms, uh, such as the desire to scratch behind his ears. <laughs> this man could single-handedly save the entire population of uh, Los Angeles. Homeboy! Oh, could... Face, you take Murdoch back. I'm going with the A. I picked him up. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't... Would you get your hand out of my jacket? I picked him up. I don't want him in my vet. What if he whoops out on me again? He get hair on my seats, drool on my... Oh, don't be absurd. You're talking to me as if it was a dog. <laughs> Murdoch, how's that overbite you've been complaining about? Huh? Wait a minute, face. I don't know what to say. I'm scared to death of dentists. I keep thinking that they're not fixing my teeth, but that they're 
like they're, they're hiding things in there. Dog toys, vacuum cleaners, who knows? Who knows? Murdoch, nothing is going to happen to your teeth. I'll have you out of there untouched. I promise. All right, can I, can I tell you what I'm really, truly honest to gumbo scared of? Fruit bats. They're awful face. They're all over the south. Backwood terrors of the night. The fly, fly of their little wings. Here we are. Uh, now, wait a second, Clark. Now, take it easy. You saw her just a minute ago, and then look. Here she is. It's a trick. It's a trick. I know it is. They always do that first. Is there a problem here? You said this was an emergency. In, out, <laughs> Clark, wait a second. Clark! Oh, listen, there's nothing to worry about. I'll have him back in no time. Just leave everything to me. They lured me with a girl. I feel so easy. Could be worse. I fell for a dog. <laughs> Well, at least mine was pretty. Oh, I fell for a dog. Murdoch, you think you can do it? Surely you must be jesting, old chap. After I saw Bridge on the River Choir, it took me six months to realize I wasn't Peter O'Toole. You mean Alec Guinness. Peter O'Toole wasn't in that picture. He was, if you saw him through these eyes. That's why. <laughs> There is no need to brutalize the Queen's English along with your other crimes, which now include impugning a loyal subject of Her Royal Majesty. Oh, come on! I mean, you guys must be kidding. I sell good stuff here and everyone knows it. Oh, don't make me laugh. No kippers, no English herringbone tweeds, no meat pies, no Rolls Royce petrol caps, no original pressings of Hey Jude. You, sir, are a miserable excuse for a shopkeep. Entire production has been stank from day one. What are you, making a movie? The movie. It's going to be fantastic. It's called Closed for Remodeling. Yeah. You could be a star. Those eyes, those blue eyes are stunning. <laughs> Mark, why, don't, why don't you try the angle from inside? That's a great idea. You and I are going to work well together. Those eyes, that hair, that chin, the way it frames the face. I know. Half the world's population should see it. <laughs> that was me. I'm sorry. I sometimes get carried away. Good thing we were at rolling film. I mean, I know that it was, you know, just a rehearsal, but still, I need more. More? More! More! What are you Don't hold back! I know, I know that what you were doing was real, but in film, what we need is that which looks real. Well, I'm fed up all this movie business business, you Audiences know? today are so sophisticated, they're yeah. never going to go for that, that, that ballet that you put on for them. <laughs> hey! Oh, it's fantastic. It's so real. Oh. The critical temperature, which is 192.5 degrees. Otherwise, what you don't know about is plaster of Paris and they'll break in your teeth. You know, Murdoch, you'd make somebody an excellent wife. <laughs> Gin. Gin? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. I thought we were playing scotch. Uh, I'm not going to ask you what scotch is, Murdoch, because if I do, I know I'll just curse myself when you tell me it's a light blended whiskey, right? Scotch is a game that's played in the Scottish Highlands. In the game of scotch, kings, queens, jacks, and numbered cards are wild. The only card that is not wild is the three of spades, which is removed from the deck prior to the deal, which renders that particular card useless. I don't know why I hang out with you guys. I'm beginning to lose my grip on reality. It's about time. I'm beginning to become concerned about what's going on here. Uh, what? That temptress dropped you like a cold shower. That wench tossed your charm aside like a hot sweater in July, pal. Really? What are you talking about, Murdoch? This is a case, huh? I mean, this is strictly business with me. You don't want to talk about it? I understand. What are you staring at? You? I've been watching you, and I'm worried about you. Can I talk to you for a minute? You're thinking that I've been shot down, right? Well, it is a little disturbing to the frontline troops to see their top love pilot hit the dirt and then cry medic. Do I have to go in there just to prove to you that if she thought I was interested in her, I mean, she'd go for me in a hot second. Yes. 
I want you to go in there right now. I want you to go in there and I want you to talk to her and I don't want you to come out until you fix that flat. Right now? I'll wait right here. Fix yeah. that flat. Yeah. Now, uh, you get back! Ah! Get back! It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Don't blame me. Get back! Get back! No, I don't. Want some nuts? I don't want any. Want some almonds? No. Calm your nerves. My nerves are fine. All right, I'll be waiting for you. Good. I'll be here. Great. I'll be seeing you. I'll be looking for you when you come back. About time. I was getting worried. I mean, I've gone through a whole bag of trail mix. Heard I just called for a celebration. Why are you doing this to yourself? Oh, come on, you're not gonna start again. Face man, I'm only concerned about your cardiovascular system. Do you realize that you are taking into your lungs foul, disgusting, dead matter? Well, I've not had it with all this health stuff. Well, I find that offensive. What? Nothing. It's just something that Custer said to the Indians. Yeah. Don't think about it. One chimpanzee, two chimpanzees, three chimpanzees. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. No, no, no. It's Mississippi's when you're taking your pulse. It's chimpanzees when you're taking time exposures. Five chimpanzees, six chimpanzees, ten chimpanzees. I got faith in you, little brother. Hmm. Voila. I don't know, Murdoch. I'm not much for this sort of thing. Look, you know, look, you the... don't have to be any good. Yeah. I mean, all you got to do is have somebody less good along with you. That's the whole theory behind fishing. Look, all I want you to do is I want you to go out there. I want you to start pulling them up, and I'm going to go dig us up some yeah, fresh well... bait. Remember the tune I told you? Yeah. And he needs a kidney transplant. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gave a kidney away last year to uh, to uh, Colonel Morgan. And the year before that, it was Westmoreland. And I gave my lung away the year before that to my Aunt Sophie. We even took out your spleen eight months ago, didn't we? I'm practically uh, a shell. I have tunneled my way out. You tunneled? Murdoch, that went out with Hogan's heroes. Right behind the psychiatric boardroom, there's a sun deck. Right behind that is a walkway with a tree. Meet me right there. Bye-bye. I give him 10 minutes, then I go for the lobotomy. Um, oh, uh, no problem. No problem. I got him. I got him. You did it. We did it. Yeah, we, we did, did it. it. Yeah. You did it. frequency tables or what? Absolutely. And it is amazing. I just have this ability to flash right on a word with only one or or two letters exposed and the entire phrase. It just comes right into my mind. You know, I told you, as soon as you know the puzzle, solve it because one bad spin of that wheel and... But that's what we were watching this show for I, all I, those I, weeks. I mean, I knew yeah. exactly how to spin that you wheel did, yeah. to miss the bad uh -huh. spots. And I'm telling you, when I got in here this morning and I spun that wheel, it felt exactly like <laughs> Hawaii, Hawaii. How are you going to get me out of the vet? I don't think it'll be a problem. I think we've run out of diseases, pal. Look, I got two weeks to come up with something. How about it? Yeah, we just heard. It's a nice bird. Pretty bird. Hey, 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 come on here. Look, I'm a friend of Barry's, okay? Yeah, somebody told him about your relationship. Very funny. I think he's carnivorous. I'm off of it, face. Parrots are not carnivorous. Yeah, you just well, got him all riled up. Let the master take oh, care of Oh, sure, sure. By all means. Nice, birdie. Nice, birdie, 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 birdie. Nice, birdie. See, you just have to show them that you don't mean them any harm. He's, uh, he's setting you up. This parrot is a man-eater. And this. What's that? This is a second-degree wood fox badge. Now, normally, there is a requirement of a five-mile walk. Mm -hmm. I think I can swing it with the board. Now, don't say anything. Let's just share the moment. Share it! What? What? What, what, what are you looking at? I can... For outstanding dedication to the bison code of bravery, you are now a baying wolf. First, 
degree. Ah, I'm a, uh, I'm a baying wolf. I've always suspected it. Oh! Face, you got enough money. I mean, you got oh. your galoshes because you're going to need them. I don't know what to say. We've been through a lot together. I mean, 15 years on the run. No, before that, I, well, I, I do, I, I have something I want to give to you. What? Something I want you to remember me by. Oh, Murdoch, I can't take this. I mean, no, oh, no, your grandfather, he gave no, you but this I want, a gift. I want you to take that. I want you to take it. I decided that you're, uh -huh. you're not going to leave, then I want my watch back. Forget it. It's a gift, Murdoch. You gave it to me. Oh, I mean, this I... is very important to me. I mean, it has great sentimental yeah. value. Well, now it has great sentimental value to me, Murdoch. I do what I'll think of you whenever I wear it. Look, if you've decided that you're going to keep the watch, uh -huh. then you're going to have to go. Absolutely not. Go. No, no go. I'm... Go. Go. Yeah.